Hey y'all, Captain Irick Sky here, and I'm going to address a common question, and that is, does the size of my drone matter? And there's a lot of people asking that, especially since in late 2014, and, and very few people had these in 2014 because they were in such high, high demand, and they're actually still sold out, but the Parrot Bebop is one of the most popular small size drones that has the ability to capture 1080p video. So it is... It is a small drone, and this drone and everything I'm talking about within this video, check the link within this video's description, and you can find all these items. So does the size of my drone matter? Well, when you're dealing with a smaller drone, it's typically more affected by wind. The Bebop, although it can handle considerably high wind, and I've, I've flown this up to about 20 miles per hour, and it, it did a really good job. Although it can handle the wind... A bigger drone such as DJI Phantom 2 or DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus, which those are still technically small drones. But from my experience, the Phantom 2 Vision Plus can handle wind better than a, a smaller drone like the Bebop. And for that reason, I think the size of your drone does matter. Because, and there's, there's other ways to look at this. So when I'm taking this somewhere, I can take these props off. This is ultra portable. With these props off, this thing is super small. Throw it in a backpack. Check the link within this video's description. I've got a backpack for the Parrot Bebop drone. Size becomes an issue when you get the sky controller. And I don't mean it's an issue in a bad way, but I mean you're looking at this tiny drone, even tinier with the props off. And then you've got this big thing. So. Looking at it from a, uh, from a travel perspective, I'm going to use this right here. This is the case that the Parrot Bebop with Sky Controller came in. You can check out my other video, and you will see how, uh, how compact everything was in here. So this is a true representation of what size carrying case you would need to travel with Parrot Bebop drone with Sky Controller. This is Phantom 2. So as you can see, there's a significant size increase if one is planning to travel with the, uh, with the Parrot Bebop drone with Sky Controller. Now, would I rather have a, a bigger drone or a bigger controller? And that's, that's when it, that's why this video is, is of importance rather because I would rather have a bigger drone and a smaller controller if the bigger drone can produce better videos and photos and for that reason from my perspective this well the size of the drone doesn't really matter that much if when you get all the equipment that goes with it is going to be larger in size because you're traveling with it you want to be as compact as possible so for that reason, I think that the, the best professional choice on the market today for video and photo, high quality video, high quality photo, the maximum quality video would be 4K, ultra high definition. So to get that, your best bang for your buck, in my opinion, is to get the DJI Phantom 2. And that's what would fit in this case. The DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus is basically the same physical size and it comes with an integrated camera but it's only going to give you 1080p. And then the Parrot Bebop is going to give you 1080p. But if you're taking the Bebop out and you're trying to get, um, you're trying to get footage like you would with a, with a Phantom 2 or a Phantom 2 Vision Plus, unless you add the Sky Controller then you're, uh, you're not going to have the range. So you're going to be limited to the range of your, uh, of your smartphone or your tablet, whatever you're using to fly. Unless you get the Sky Controller, which is stated to have a range of two kilometers. So it's, it's really a matter of... Uh, I, I haven't seen a small drone yet 
with a small controller that will produce the results that the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus will. So my next experiment, and you'll see it here on Irish Guys Adventure Channel, is to test the quality of the DJI Phantom 2. I'm not even going to do the FPV, the first person view of the, in the beginning. I may add that later. But just the quality of the DJI Phantom 2 with Zenmuse Gimbal and GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition for 30K, uh, I'm sorry, for 4K Ultra HD 30 frames per second video. That's gimbal stabilized. So, Parrot, if you're listening, you need to make a smaller controller and you need to get 4K in something of this form factor. Because something with 4K in this form factor, I feel would be a game changer. And preferably something that's not software stabilized because as we know, with software stabilization, the product, unfortunately, the video produced by it, is unfortunately not up to par with video that was captured by way of a, uh, of a camera mounted to a gimbal that was not software stabilized. So I hope this video helps, and be sure to subscribe to youtube.com forward slash irixguy and share this video and any of my videos with others. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day.